Good morning, upboptionmillionaires.com. It is Monday, October 20th, 2014. Stock futures are off the lows, but have been falling since the overnight session highs. We had a great reversal last week. The selling reached a crescendo on Wednesday in the middle of the session. We had a nice rebound. We pulled back again Thursday, recovered those losses, and then some on Friday. It was a really strong day to the upside. Uh, looking forward to that continuing, but so far it is not happening. And again, I brought this up a couple weeks ago when we broke the Abenomics trend line. No, I'm open to trading for downside. Uh, I'm not going to fight this for six years. You know, anybody who's been fighting this market, shorting the most historic bull market in our lifetime, and been doing it successfully, you know, ask them. You know, how's it happen? How do you short a market every single day when <laughs> it goes up every single day? It's just pretty miraculous. Uh, I can't. You know, after a couple of weeks of being wrong about the market. Yeah, uh, when you trade with real money and you actually lose money, uh, you gotta you gotta look at at, at trend lines here. And, and this weekend, I spent a lot of time looking at charts, and a lot of these charts here that I'm looking at are broken. And so, what we're gonna need is some footing to be formed here before we can even think about hitting new record high stock prices. Uh, so it was a nice reversal last week, but I think there's a lot of work to be done as far as this market's concerned. I would say most of the lows that we've seen since the lows in 2009 have been beautiful V bottoms. So we got that V bottom going for us. We have a nice W and double bottom. We have heavy volume. The volume kind of let up a little bit on Friday. So as long as that volume kind of stays in check, because to me, through the lows in 2009, heavy volume has, has meant uh, volatility and selling and usually uh, a pullback. So we'll see if this, this pullback's done. Everything I read this, this weekend, everybody I talk to and uh, everyone on Twitter seems to think that the, the bottom was put in last week, which, you know, just like everybody thought uh, this market couldn't go higher from the lows in 2009 every step of the way. You know, this wasn't an easy rally to be buying. You know, as much as this chart looks beautiful for the S&P 500, <laughs> each pullback along the way, the bears who were somehow successfully navigating this market profitably, uh, we're, we're saying, oh, this is it. Here we go. And they're drawing all sorts of red candles. Oh, here it is. Oh, we've broken this. This has been broken. This market is shot here. My invisible shorts are just gonna, they're just gonna be miraculous. And uh, yeah, it hasn't been an easy market to, to, to play to the long side. So now we're getting that really big pullback to the downside. Uh, and some of the people who, who hopped on the train later say, oh, well, we're reversing course here. This is it, we're oversold. So I don't know, there could be one more washout in the cards before we finally do head to new record highs which I do, do think is happening. And a lot of that's going to be determined by earnings we're seeing it today. Uh, look at IBM. Let me just bring up the IBM future, uh, before the market here. Look at that uh, absolute carnage down to 166. My goodness, when I last looked, it was up here at 172. Uh, just getting absolutely destroyed. This is not good for the market at all. Uh, after the bell today, we have Apple. Now, I'm just going to bring up a chart at Apple. I'm going to do an earnings video and post it up at the blog before the market's going to open here. Apple, to me, is consolidating. So this is good. If Apple pulls back here on the IBM uh, earnings, I'm looking for a move higher. We have CMG, and I'm going to bring this up again. This is another earnings one, but broken below long-term support. So this looks bearish to me. Let's look at the bond market, because on Wednesday, when stocks were hitting their lows right at the open, the bond market looked broken. TLT was going, and look at it. See this big wick to the upside, and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. You can see it opened the trading session at 127.50, uh, and then it has since since that high there on Wednesday has been pulling back, kind of melting. But the, to me, at that point in time, the bond market was broken. I mean, a market implies uh, price discovery, and there was none there. The spread was, it was a sight to behold, and stuff we haven't seen really since the lows in 2008 and 2009 when the market would just gyrate all over the place. Hundred. So let's talk about IWM, which is really interesting here. Had a nice rally up over long-term support. And if you look back, uh, this channel is acted as, and if you want to just look, beautiful pattern here, rallying up into this uh, consolidation we broke below, but we're back above it now. So that, to me, and uh, you know, everybody talks about, especially the tech wreck of 2014 when stocks were pulling back, how the small caps lead the market. Well, if we break below this line here, especially today, pull back down at about 104, 103 level, this could imply significant downside for stocks. We've already broken that uh, Abenomics trend line to the downside. Uh, keep an eye on this for the NASDAQ QQQ, which I talked about here, 9069, okay, or 9070. Look where we came down to. 
it's you know it's it's miraculous where you get these trend lines in for the long term perspective. We hit ninety fifty eight, uh, and and briefly ninety twenty four on Wednesday. So you know this is something to keep an eye on. Uh, beautiful V bottom. We'll see if this holds. So some of the trend lines are holding for for the Nasdaq for the uh, IWM SPY not so much. And then we want to look at the bond market uh, TLT, which again needs to hold this level here if we pull back down interest rates are going to rise we've had this rally really if you want to look back at the start of the year the rally in the bond market's gone hand in hand with the rally in the stock market which has defied logic uh back when the taper was being announced and we finally got the taper look at the bond market doing really well here so and of course we got to look at the uh volatility index the vxx which has been all over the place a nice spike up to the upside and even on Friday, with that massive move to the upside, a curious spike for the VXX, which, uh, especially late in the session, had a nice rally up to 39.50 in spite of a rally in stocks. Uh, so that's telling you something. So that, you know, investors are, are trading for possible uh, volatility on the horizon. I'm going to get on the uh, the earnings market video. We have earnings reports this week. We have AT&T, Apple. Uh, Hasbro was out this morning. McDonald's tomorrow, Coca Cola, Verizon, Discover Financial, Harley Davidson, ISRG, Cree, Cat, Amazon, Microsoft, 3M, Pandora, a whole host of stocks. Earnings season really kicking off here, so I'm going to focus on that. I think if you want to look at the SP 500 futures, I mean, look at IBM. We're bouncing off the lows there. Uh, certainly going to lead stocks lower today. Uh, we have Microsoft. That's something I might want to look to trade puts in. This, the market itself is off the uh, the lows that we saw last week. So that's somewhat uh, you know positive for stocks. But we'll see. If we get this pullback. IBM, everyone thinks growth is gone. And the Federal Reserve and Central Bank globally aren't going to be able to manipulate asset prices higher. Uh, we could see a pullback below the levels that we saw last week. And that is something to keep an eye on. So, uh, again, I don't have the capital like the bears do to be short the market for six years in the midst of a bold market that the likes of none of us have ever seen before. The same thing, uh, trading for more upside in a market that looks like it's possible we could go lower. Um, yeah, so once we broke this economic trend line, my view changed. I'm not going to wait five years. I'm also not going to bet against the central bank's Federal Reserve. And we'll see what happens as far as the V bottom is concerned here. All right. I'll be back. Uh, I got my video I'm setting up for earnings. And I'll see you in the chat room. Everyone have a good start to the week. Goodbye.